Hello, 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 everyone. Happy Monday. We are so excited to be here with you guys on this beautiful, beautiful Monday. Boy, oh boy, I feel so good to be back in the basement. Well, guys, how are you all doing? Uh, I'm so excited because today, over the past few weeks, we have been kind of transforming the basement into an extra living area. But the one thing that the whole space has been missing is a crafting component. So what I want to be able to do is to do everything a normal craft room would do right here in the basement. So as you guys are tuning in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on. Guys, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for 200,000 YouTube subscribers. We're at 201. We hit 200 over the weekend and we are so, so excited. I cannot believe at how amazing it is to see all of our amazing new friends. So whether you have been a longtime subscriber for uh, six months, three months, a year, all of those different ones. We are so, so excited to have each and every one of you guys uh, here with us. It is so amazing. And I just want to say thank you so much for subscribing and being part of the Makers Gonna Learn community. We are going to do definitely something really fun this week, not sure what, to celebrate 200,000. So get excited. There may be an extra live stream this week. I don't know. We're going to plan that and have a lot of fun while doing so. Um, but I thought today would be such a great day to share with you guys the first look of our brand new at-home craft room, um, mainly for the fact that this is a small space. So everyone in the comments are like, Tanner, we'd love to have a craft room like yours or this and that. Um, but today, this is a craft room that is 100% functional, 100% practical, um, and things you could actually do in your own home. So Rachel's behind the camera, Becca's on comments. We all just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for 200,000 on YouTube. Seriously, it is so amazing. Y'all are the um, best. Yes, you all are. We're so excited. I cannot believe it, and I'm super, super thankful for each and every one of you guys. So truly, we love it. So thank you guys again. Do we have anyone tuning in? We didn't get to schedule this one out. We have a ton of people, yeah. Oh people. my goodness. Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. Happy Monday morning, afternoon, depending on where you are in your neck of the woods. Today, we would like to just say thank you with um, everyone commenting how long they have been subscribed to the channel, how long they have been a Makers Gonna Learn member. Leave us a comment and let us know, you know, what that looks like for you. You know, give us a little, you know, preview into your life. If you guys leave a comment, we are going to pick one person to win a $50 Amazon gift card. Um, so we'll announce that on the next live stream, which will be on Wednesday. Um, so that is super awesome and we're really excited. So go ahead, if you're watching the recorded, leave us a comment down below. Let us know how long you've been subscribed to the channel, how long have you been a Makers Gonna Learn member, everything like that. So we're super excited to give you guys inside the drawers, inside the look, um, and celebrate 200K with you this week um, as a special special thank you to each and every one of our friends I want to let you guys know you can actually join the membership for $20 off to celebrate 200,000 here on YouTube uh, over on the membership by getting your year membership for $20 off so we're super excited for that I cannot believe you're at 200 and I'm just super excited and thrilled so what's everyone saying in the comments they're all just saying congratulations on me getting thank it. you congratulations thank you, thank you. on 200,000 yes oh my goodness Lots you guys of are amazing who are subscribers and are telling how long we've been here Ooh, yes. Miss Elena it. is the top one right now. She says three years. So three years. let's see if we have oh more of goodness. those. Yes. So how long um, that would be? Have you been with us since 2017? Who remembers um, the high sign in the background? Who remembers those late night live streams we used to do all the time? The first press impression cutting felt with the Cricut Maker, the unboxing of the Cricut Maker. Like this machine right here has kind of been the thing that kind of set us off with the Maker's Gonna Learn. So this machine right here is amazing. It also was on sale this weekend. So if you just purchased a Cricut Maker, we're so excited for you guys to you know have that in the mail soon. We're just super thrilled everyone that was able to take advantage of the offer. Guys, the Cricut Maker was on sale for $2.99. Lowest price I've ever seen it. So that's crazy. That's cool. nuts. Um, yeah, and such a good machine. When this came out, I mean, that's like $100 off retail. So let's go ahead. We'll zoom back a little for people that are just tuning in. This is 
our brand new at home craft space. We're super excited for all of you guys to see it here. Um, this is the craft table. This is from Wayfair. It's a little bit shorter. <laughs> Me and Rachel both were like, we could just craft on our knees. Um, and then right here, we've got this like a seam. So it's like two pieces. Um, so that's one thing I wasn't too happy with. Like it's two totally different pieces. Um, but other than that, it was from Wayfair. It looks super cool. A lot of people was messaging me on Instagram about it. And if you're not following me personally on Instagram, a lot of people love the behind the scenes I post over there. So go follow me over there, Tanner Bell 1023 if you're over on Instagram. And yeah, so this is the craft table. Um, we're really excited. This is a little bit extra space to have machines working. The easy press is going. I'm really excited to share with you guys some of the um, craft supplies I've picked for the craft space and kind of why. Um, obviously, as I do projects here, we'll add some and maybe take some away. I don't really know. Um, but one thing that I love right here is something that Courtney picked out. Um, and this right here is mason jar organizers. So it's just four little mason jars and this adorable little organizer um, where you can keep some quick dry pens, some scissors, some pencils to sketch out projects. Courtney's a wizard at sketching out her projects. Um, and then this one, this is the one we need the most, right? You've got um, your true control knife, you've got your spatula, your weeding tools. I mean, everything is so good in here. All we're missing is my pin pin tool, so I'll have to, to steal one from the office. So we're super excited about that. But yes, what's everyone saying before we, um, jump into the rest of the tour. There's lots of people who said they've been here since you launched MGL and they remember how excited you were. Yes. Yes. Guys, do you remember that? We had 30 cut files. Oh my goodness, Tanner. we did launch with that 30 was awesome. cut files. We are up, we are 10 times, so way, way more than 10 times that. Like, we're up to over 3,000 cut files, over 300 fonts, and so much more. And we're over 6,000 members. So I just wanna say thank you to each of you guys. It is seriously such a uh, blessing to be able to, you know, all of us be here and working to serve you guys each and every day. So you guys are amazing. And truly you all are what makes Bakers Gonna Learn so amazing. So without you guys, we would not be able to give so much from the art and everything like that so we're super excited for you and we're just really excited to continue sharing um, as we go to hopefully hit 300,000 here on youtube very very soon now one thing i do want to mention we are getting chairs for down here these chairs are from my dining room which just so happens to fit them up so we'll have chairs i don't know if we're doing two or four um you do want to have some extra space to craft when you are with when you're with your friends and things like that so really excited but let's go ahead and give an overview of what's going on back here so we've got um butcher block countertops this is beautiful um these two shelves we were able to diy assemble for i think all the wood together was about eight to ten dollars so two beautiful shelves for ten dollars guys like you just need your flat piece of wood we are able to use um, a smaller piece of wood to create the little brackets um, so very affordable great little hack Make sure you find your studs and that is pretty pretty straightforward um as you guys can see this little craft room is totally a different vibe than makers gonna learn would be like there's no color so this is really like your blacks and your whites and um you know very very simplistic and timeless very timeless mm -hmm. it reminds me more of a joanna Gaines craft room like you the vibe of it which I is i think all of our goals yeah. you know <laughs> totally um so you'll have to watch our 73 questions uh, craft room or house tour to see this space before but we used to have a couch down here and then we had the utility sink so this thing right here is the utility sink and then Courtney said she wanted to glam it up so Courtney glammed it up by adding the wood to it her and Blake worked on this one day um, I honestly like am so impressed with how well and how custom they were able to make it so when you're working in a craft space whether your room has a closet has a window has you know whatever that may have you've got to work around what you have so this is a utility sink that has been here before we even finish the basement it has been through it so we were just working with it instead of against it or taking it out or anything like that so right here what we did was we purchased three cabinets from home depot the biggest splurge we did i was talking before the lab on this was the cabinets so the cabinets was my personal desire to splurge because what the cabinets is able to do for you is create such a custom feel to your craft space. So you may not have that in your budget 
feel free to kind of pick and choose where you splurge on. Um, this craft room right here will have a whole video on building it coming out very soon, but I felt like I wanted to give you guys a lot now to hopefully inspire you guys and give you some, you know, traction to get going. So these are just three cabinets from Home Depot. Um, the best part about them is they're all basic. They're not custom. They're not anything like that. We got the butcher block and we just cut it. Um, ourselves and then we stained it so that was really easy to do as well I um, don't think this is Jacobin either guys so not, you're gonna be shocked <laughs> this is not Jacobin Courtney do we know the color of stain early American, early American. Oh, Becca we're using it all the time that's one of my favorites yeah <sighs> we're all loving early mm -hmm. American and I think just because it fits so well so here's the deal guys if we went with jacobine we would not be able to see any of this wood grain which honestly rachel like half the time like it, i either want to see the wood grain or i don't so yeah right. having these two options to go back and forth on purely amazing and i treat jacobine as as close as to black as i ever would want to on wood um you know there's other darker stains but jacobine is just like it has that, you know, brown, but has really dark brown tones. So anyway, one thing I love, 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 love about our craft space is this is our master class on frames. And I think this right here is a perfect example of why I love the frame master class. You can measure out how much space you have and you're able to build frames that are going to fit for the exact space. You're not having to buy them. You're able to do them all the same color. You're able to bring in cut files that you love. And you may be saying, Tanner, I want to be a Makers Learn member, you know, but I need inspiration on things to do. Every single day we come to you guys with brand new craft ideas, with new launches and projects. So these are all pieces of art that you get as soon as you become a member. So if you become a member today, use the coupon code MAKE, M-A-K-E, at checkout for $20 off your membership. We're so excited to offer that promotion to all of our friends that would like to become a member today. I have to read Miss Sharon's comment. Hey, so Sharon, sweet. how are you? She says, anyone that's on the fence, it is a great place to spend your extra time. You will love the family you become united with. They will not let you down on anything. Do the Aww, yearly. Love it. So sweet. Yes, I had a great conversation with a member yesterday saying, Tanner, is there a difference between paying monthly or yearly? And I was like, girl, you get so many more bonuses when you go yearly. Definitely take a look at that graphic over there. Um, Becca, I'm sure, can drop you that link if you need to join. But I linked it right down here in the description. So just grab it from there as well. Wherever you need it, you can grab it. Um, but yeah, so the Master Frame is, class is awesome. You've got a few opportunities to grab this program if you need it. It is a bonus in Design Make Sell, which teaches you guys how to design cut files and um, sell your crafts. So that's an opportunity to get it, or you can get it as a standalone class. So any other questions before we continue on? We do have a question regarding stain, which I think is a, okay. a good one to talk about too. Oh, I've got a lot of stain to share with you guys today. Miss so, yeah. Kendra says, I have a question. Kendra. When buying men wax, et cetera, yes. some stains say oil and some do not. Which is the best to buy or does it matter? You know, it depends on, like, Minwax stain in general is my favorite. So, um, oil stains are going to be a little bit, um, you know, thicker to work with and, you know, not as easy to work with. I'll look when we get over to our stain to see which Minwax, and I'll show you exactly our favorite line of the Minwax to purchase, and we'll see what it exactly says on it, because that is the easiest to work with for sure. So it stick is. with us. We're super excited for that. So, anyway, we have two more cabinets here, and these... One of our tips here, guys, is if you want cabinets, but you may not have the budget for cabinets, here's what I recommend. The less drawers that you go with, the more affordable your cabinet will be. For example, the cabinet we're looking at over here is probably $50 less per cabinet rather than getting this one with all three of the drawers. So what we've done in the drawers here is we've organized things with and these little two, uh, these little, you know, organizers. This is a really great tip to keep things all contained, but have the drawer flexibility. So we have, a, you know, a pump bottle here. We have our measurements. We have little wood um, pieces to decorate with. 
these right here are paint, um, I say painting sponges, they're makeup sponges. We use this for painting all of the time with acrylic paint. It's such a great thing to have on hand. Those are from the Dollar Tree Dollar too. Tree, mm -hmm. you gotta love the Dollar Tree. Um, do you know where we got the containers from? Those oh, are from Ikea. Ikea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these are really good. And that, the best part is if you're working with multiples of these, you can grab it, take it to the craft table. Um, it'll keep it organized. And then the leftovers you can bring back. And those also stack really well. Ooh, mm -hmm. I love that. And then you guys have more space. So we're going to let that expand out. Um, and then we have just a paper trimmer because every crafter is going to need one of these. I promise you, very important. So that's right there. Um, we'll continue on going down through these in the middle of the, the cabinets. Another thing we love is using more Ikea um, plastic bins to organize. Do you need an embroidery hoop? Do you need fabric? Like, do you need a, you know, yarn? Do you need ribbon? And then the best part is you may be saying, okay, I need ribbon, but I don't know what ribbon I want. You can just grab the bin and take it out. So that's really nice. Um, you know, the yarns, and it's kind of the same thing. Embroidery hoops, you can grab it. We put some new product that we want to try out. This is Tulip Color Shot. If you guys have any questions, um, on if you have used it before. It says it's instant fabric color. I've been explained, people told me that this is like the spray paint of fabric paint. So I'm excited to try that out. Sounds neat. It does. And Miss Ginger has a good question. And hey, Ginger, she says, what do you do to store your scrap vinyl? And we actually have Ooh, several videos on storing vinyl. Yes. So I've not got to get some scrap vinyl here yet because we haven't really crafted here yet. Uh, we've been too busy decorating. So we recommend a few different solutions for that. People do binders, people do bins. I like the bins. I like to go through the bins, I like to fill the vinyl, I like to find the size that works for me. Definitely um, keep them separate, whether it's adhesive iron vinyl or iron. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, so that's a big one. And then down here in this third drawer, we have more of our, you know, this is more DIY in general. So like your epoxies you need to have here. We love the StarCraft glitters, guys. Look at this right here. We have our glitters ready to go. Notice we put it um, downward so we can see the glitter. Love that too. Um, really awesome mm -hmm. so you can see it, you can grab it. Um, notice we're trying to keep everything together. So we have the cups and the stir sticks together. We have some molds. So in case we wanna make some glitter you know, molds and things, we'll be able to grab those really easily. Again, our favorite, you know, quick grab paints are in the bin and we have the paint brushes ready to go. So this is a really great idea for you guys that, you know, wanna have organized drawers that are practical. So you can grab these. And the best part is, guys, you know, we don't always craft just in the craft room. We may have to take it to a friend's house. We may have to take it um, over to the kitchen or outside, places like that. Having these bins, you can grab it, you can go, and it's gonna be really awesome. So we love that. Also with the cabinets, you have quite a bit of counter space. We can plug up the Cricut and cut right here. Um, you know, in our craft space, we do have two crickets here just because you never know what needs to happen. This is one of my favorite crickets ever. This is the Martha Stewart cricket. I absolutely love this one. Um, and this is an Explorer 2. So lots of possibilities for everyone that needs to be able to craft and have that space. Again, this space is not huge. So we do make it, you know, this is probably the most practical craft space you'll ever see here at Makers of Honor. Which is important. I mean, yeah. as long as you are organized, you can have a small space. It's exactly. when you start getting unorganized that, you know, the walls seem to kind of squish in on you, you yeah. know? Yeah, so, and if you look around, like, there is plenty of crafting space, I promise. Like, I love having, you know, this larger area. You get one more smaller counter space area, and then you have the the craft table so there's a lot of working space that you guys have here in this craft area and craft space so this is another cabinet again this one's going to be more affordable than the one with the more drawers so less drawers more affordable um, when you open this up this is where i keep all my adhesives so you've got anything from foam, ta foam tape to um, hot glue I love these guys. I'm just go, if you need to take a screenshot of these to add it to your next Ikea run or online purchase with these day and time, go flip it over. Just get this right here because it's such a good, um, such a good product to have to organize different miscellaneous like crafting tools. I don't even put like sequins in there if there were lids. So anyway, paper crafting essentials are also here. So we have the Zig 2A glue pens. Both of these sizes are perfect. We have the Scotch ATG gun. We have our emergency roll of duct tape you always need. 
Um, we have the heat and bond, so we can use the no sew projects really easily. We have the foam adhesive for paper projects. I just purchased this brand new, Ooh. I'm excited to try it. It's the Fisker staple gun. I will have a full review for you sometime soon. I got it at Target. It doesn't look like it uses too thick of nails, so mm -hmm. we'll have a full review, but it looks pretty good. So. And Tanner, great question, and I can't wait for you to answer it. Ooh. What do you guys do to store your Cricut cutting mats? I am so <laughs> Into this I question. did. I did not. Someone asked. I swear. Okay. So our friend that asked, let me share with you what we do because we're really excited. So right here is our bin where we have a lot of things, and there's a lot of things I want to spotlight in here. But we're going to start with the mats. Rachel has been using the command hooks for, um, you know, putting the mats on the wall in the, you know, office, which is so good for us to see if we're running low on mats and everything like that. But this is a space that needs to be looking clean and cut. So inside a cabinet, we have simply added, um, you know, a little hook and now they're organizing all of them. Okay. So you've got the fabric grip, the strong grip, the standard grip, the lat grip, all on one. You don't need that many. So it's really good. Notice and again here, guys, using the bins for the best, you know, being able to pull it out. What I love is that I can pull out all the iron on I have here at home. Cause again, at the office, I have all the colors. At home, I don't need all the colors. I can grab this out on my craft table, say, okay, I have a roll of black. Okay, I have an iron on roll. Like, ideally, I would divide this out and add a divider. Iron on on one side, adhesive on on the other side. Use what you need. If When I'm working with small spaces like this, I would probably just work with, um, you know, the ones that really... Like I would probably leave the scraps in here just because I don't have that much space or use some type of binder. So that's really interesting. Well, the biggest, the biggest pro about this is that you're not breaking your back going in your cabinet to search yeah. for these. They're all right here for you, which is great. Exactly. You just pull the bin out. Yeah, you can pull the bin out, grab what you need, and then throw it back when you're done um, just because it's really, you know, such a practical use. So what I also want to show is, guys, the only easy press I have in my entire home is the mini. The only easy press I have in my entire home is the mini. From t-shirts to tumblers to whatever project to hats I need, I have it ready to go. Um, so that's really exciting. Another thing is I have the 110 pound cardstock ready to go right there as well for the printer. Um, so that is awesome. We have the printer in another room, but if I need to restock it. And then I've got to figure out where I want to put my 12 by 12 cardstock. I've always had a problem with 12 by 12 cardstock. So people I always talk about using really nice cardstock, but sometimes you just got to buy whatever Hobby Lobby has. Um, and then here's some packs that I grabbed. So, oh my gosh, guys, I'm really excited. This is um, going to helpfully be like some inspiration for some projects for Christmas in July coming up. I love how like nice it is and you know, it's adorable. This really inspired me with a whole new vibe for some type of Christmas. So this was what they're already selling at Hobby Lobby. Wow. Yeah, you guys can go ahead and pick this up because I know I'll have to do some type of card or some type of DIY gift wrap or something that we can start prepping in July to get us really excited for Christmas because who doesn't love going ahead and crafting for Christmas in July. We have so much fun doing Christmas in July. So last year was a hit. So that's going to be awesome. And then look right here, guys. This is the new farmhouse pack that they have of cardstock at Hobby Lobby. What intrigues me about this is there's a lot of uses of navy mm -hmm. in the farmhouse bob. So lots of beautiful papers here. So we'll see what happens with when we, you know, mix up the cut files and, you know, you could use these papers with the Cricut Joy. You could do whatever you wanted. So lots of things I love. If you guys were at the summit, you guys know we have a new cut file that we use the Joy in a pattern kind of like this to make that tile. So beautiful. beautiful. Marble and paper, super trendy. I love that they've added three sheets of each, which is really important. Cowhide, which is a beautiful, really awesome things. Um, you got some different, um, this is Harrow, what pattern is it? Do you oh gosh. I don't remember either. Becca would know. Becca would know. Um, but yeah, so super, super fun. So anyway, love the farmhouse pack. I grabbed both of those just because I thought they were very trendy um, and super fun. So yeah, any questions? We do have some. Uh, Miss Beverly, hey, Beverly says, 
How do you use infusible ink if you only have the mini? And we don't do a whole lot of infusible we ink. We don't do a whole lot of infusible ink, so that's the thing. Like, this is not my only craft trip, thankfully, um, you know, for work purposes. But in everyday craft life, we d I don't do a lot of infusible ink. All the shirts that I have here um, are cotton, so I won't have a lot of use for things like... Um, infusible ink yeah. and polyester. I just can't do it here. Um, but if you do do infusible ink, just make sure you have a heating press that's large enough. Nine by nine, the larger nine by, uh, 12 by 16 yeah. is really good too. So yeah. The heat really plate has to be uh, bigger than your image exactly. for sure. And Miss Jody says, what Jody? type of printer do you recommend to go along with your Cricut? I love that question. That is probably one of the hottest questions we get here at Maker's Gonna Learn is what printer do you use? You have the doctor link. Oh, um, Beck, Beck, Beck is the best. You a link, which is awesome. Um, we used to we use in all of our videos the Canon TS eight one two zero. They have since upgraded that machine, so we probably need to try out the newer one, right? Um, but we that's the one we use, and we'll probably get whatever the newest one they recommend is because it's usually like right at a hundred bucks, which is I think a great deal. It is a good for deal. A print and mm -hmm. cut printer. Because once you can print and cut, you'll save your hundred dollars probably in the first month of using it. What I mean by that is you're going to save time and be able to craft more with less time because you're doing print and cut because it's awesome. So yeah, we love that question. And Miss Annette says, "Where did you find the jars?" Okay, um, the jars I believe they're from Hobby Lobby. So these right here are twelve ninety nine. What I love about these is they're usually fifty percent off. Do not buy glass from Hobby Lobby unless it's fifty percent off. Wait a week, wait two weeks, grab it 50 off because that's the best thing to do at Hobby Lobby because they're awesome. And look, what we love is you can use this as practical organization for your craft space, okay? What we mean by that is if we're not going to do this, you could do this. Um, you could organize your actual craft supplies in the jars and just pull from it. Obviously, ours is usually going to be staged for backgrounds and videos and things like that. So ours is a little different. Um, but yeah, so you can put supplies in there and that's really, again, a lot of fun. And then on the second shelf, this right here is a frame. This is not from the Frame Masterclass. This is a frame we've probably painted over like five times. Um, this one right here is using a font that is really fun for makers gonna learn. So today with the $20 off coupon code using the code MAKE, you can save $20, become a year member, and get all of our fonts with commercial use lessons, our three e-courses, and so much more in that year membership tier. So that's really fun and really awesome. So yay, what other questions? Let me see here. Miss mm -mm. Teresa, this is a good question. There's actually a video coming out on this Ooh, from us. I love that. Why would you rather use HTV on wood than regular vinyl? Oh my gosh, that's a big question. Um, long story short, we find that adhesive vinyl does not stick as well to wood as we would like. So what we have been using is heat transfer vinyl. And the reason why the heat transfer vinyl works better is because it infuses into the wood um, and it makes it pretty permanent. So no need to spray it, no need to seal it. Um, you're pretty much good to go as long as you do it right. So I have a few videos on how to iron on wood. And if you were able to physically see the results, like just moving your hand across this, this is, this is iron on, I believe. Um, it's just so smooth. Like this is honestly so smooth. With adhesive vinyl, you can find it starting to peel up a little. You can just see um, it's not as professional looking. And if you're using, you know, your Cricut to make money and sell your things, you do not want a customer to come back to you in three weeks, four weeks and say, hey, my letters peeled up. That would be embarrassing. So we don't, we do not want that. Mm -hmm. And look, I'm using a, I'm using a thing of Minwax to, to hold up my pre-stained wood conditioner. <gasps> Let's have a chat about this. So this is pre-stained wood conditioner. Look what happens to unconditioned wood versus conditioned wood. This is a chat we don't really have here at Makers & Learn due to the fact that we normally don't do large spaces, but when you're doing countertops and like large pieces of wood, you want to condition the wood with a, something like this. So this is the pre-stain. What it does is it kind of evens everything out. I'm not sure how it works. I just know it does work, if that makes sense. Um, it's really great for anything that you're using. So it's, you know, prepares wood for staining and it prevents the blotchiness that you may have. So if you're ever working with wood, it generally only happens with those large pieces. Um, have, try some pre-stain out. And again, this probably one bottle will last you a lifetime or two. So we really like that. Um, but as you guys know, one of the biggest things we do here at Maker's Miller 
is we love to build frames. We love to do all of those things. And you're like, Tanner, where's the stuff to do that? So again, we do have areas where we can cut and build things in our home already um, for the most part, but we wanted to give kind of like where we would store it in the meantime, right? If we were just using this space. So over here in this drawer, we, this is honestly like our catch-all drawer right now. We haven't really dove into what we want in here. So we have like our cords, our plates, like this is just a catch-all. But down here, I'm super excited to share with you guys. Open this up. And as you can see, we have canvases back here to do reverse canvases. We have some already made frames, which we love to have on hand. We highly recommend batching our frames and having them ready to go. Um, these are some frames I just bought. They were 50% off at Hobby Lobby. I want to do a reverse canvas in the back here. We'll just put a canvas in general in the back and then use this as the frame. So Love it. Isn't it adorable? That's Let me so share pretty. with you the other ones too. Rachel, you're going to die. Like, look, they're already oh. made. Oh, that's they're pretty. They're really affordable. So for $10, I, I paid for these, which I think are a steal. You can add your own wood. Um, and this one's really adorable, too. So we'll probably have some, some videos Ooh. come in. Yeah. Those are so pretty. Super easy, too, guys. Like, you're able to add whatever you want to it. Really fun. Um, one of Someone asked in the Facebook group what air nailer I use. This is the Brad air nailer. Um, so it's the Airstrike um, Compact. It's the Brad Nail. It looks really uh, well oh, used. We love it. Mm -hmm. We really do. We really, really do. Um, so that's the one we have. We use the Ryobi one because they're battery powered. Um, we have a hammer down here. We keep our cloths. Look at all the wood stain, Rachel. Look at all that. We got the. You're stocked up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got some um, chalky finish paint. We keep that in gray, black, and white. Um, and then we've got the plug right there, which is really good. And then all the stain. So. Yeah, I mean, we try to keep everything, you know, that we'll need right here in the craft space. So, yeah, does this give you guys some really great inspiration for what you could do in a smaller craft room? How many of us are brand new to crafting and looking to create a space that you're going to love? Guys, you could do the same thing in a utility room, in a mud room. Like, you can totally take this add it to what you're doing in your laundry room or something like that as well. Rachel, we could get your mom crafting in her little laundry room. We could, I'm telling you. <laughs> she was telling me all about how she just shuts the door. She has her piece in her laundry room. Oh yes, room, yes. It's all about making the best of your space. It's yes. not about the size of it, you know? Totally, like honestly, like if you step back, like we really just have like a tiny, tiny square rectangle shape here, not anything Nothing like out of the ordinary. Yeah, that's behind the stairs right yeah, there. Yeah, behind mm -hmm. the stairs. But yeah, you have like a little bitty space that you can make truly to be your best space ever for your crafting. So we're super excited for each of you to have the Cricut Craft Room dream that you want. Each of us will look a little different and it's still going to be a lot of fun. So if you have craft spaces that you're like, I want to share this with you, Tanner, go ahead, send it to me on Instagram, share it in the Makers Gonna Learn member only Facebook group. If you are a member, if you're not a member, what are you waiting for? We want you guys to go over, grab your membership. We want to share with you guys all the cut files, all the projects, all the videos, and so much more over there in the member only group. So we're so excited. And Tanner, yes. we've got a couple questions. Let's hit on those. Number one, what is the size of the nail gun? Do we know? Um, this one right here, I want to say it's the $120 one. Um, it's just the Ryobi one. I'm trying to see which one it would be. I'm trying to see because there are two, but it's just the Brad Neller one. So there was, you know, one. That I don't was, know if she's wanting to know like what size of nails they are. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I don't um, know. But yeah, you can reference the class for any questions you have on that. Um, so we're super excited. What was the other Ms. one? Miss Teresa says, hey, Tanner, Teresa. when's the wedding? The wedding is August 29th of 2020. Thank you so much for asking. And Miss Catherine said, hey, is Catherine. she said, what did you do with your basement now? So this is a part of it. Yes. Um, this is part of it. We'll share the other part of the room very soon once it's finished. Unfortunately, COVID um, with manufacturing and furniture and things like that have been a little delayed. So we've just been working around it and having the making the most of it. So it's a lot of fun. So yay. Any other questions, my friends? Let us know now before we head out. If you do have any more questions, we're super, super excited 
to kick off this Monday with you and celebrate 200,000 YouTube subscribers. So if you're just tuning in and we're not here in the beginning, if you leave us a comment and you share how long you have been subscribed to the channel, how long you've been a Maker Salon member, anything like that, you're going to be entered to win a $50 Amazon gift card. We're going to announce that winner on Wednesday. So if you're watching the recorded, feel free to go ahead and leave us a comment as well. You'll have time to be entered. Um, and I can't wait to read through those comments and cannot wait to see all of your craft rooms over in the Makers and Learn Facebook group or if you want to send it to me over on Instagram. So we're really thrilled that you guys were able to hang out with us on this Monday. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun, and we cannot wait to see all the things that you guys have got going on this week. And I believe we have a, is it Member Choice Launch Thursday? Mm -hmm. Member Choice Launch coming Thursday, so get excited for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. And yes, any other questions, Becca? A any couple questions? rolled in. Okay, yeah, Becca, you let me know if I forget any more or if I've yes, missed them. Yes, any other questions? Uh, Miss Susan said, hey, is Susan. the black geometric wall in the basement? Yes, so that is part, like if you were looking where I'm looking, like the walls over there. So this is over in like a little nook. It's on the big wall that we used to film so, on. Oh, yeah. Susan, like and Ozzy said, where hey. are those cabinets from? Okay, these cabinets are just the basic ones from uh, Home Depot. So these are probably not the basic, basic ones, but you know, they're just like, they were in stock at Home Depot. We just showed up and said, this is what we want. And we picked them up in a cart, checked out and we rolled out. Um, so yeah, nothing you have to special order. These pools are from Home Depot as well. So you can do the whole thing at the Home Improvement Store. I'm pretty sure Lowe's would have a competing cabinet that looks very similar as well. So yay. Any other questions? Are we good? I, I think we're good. Awesome, if... awesome, my friends. Well, I cannot wait to see all of you guys. If you have any questions about membership, be sure to reach out to us. Hi at makersgonnalearn.com. Use that coupon code $20 off using the code make at checkout. We cannot wait to see you guys over in the membership. And thank you guys for 200,000 on YouTube. We're only 99,000 away until 300,000. So we're super, super excited. But thank you guys so much. I hope you all have a fantastic week and we'll see you back here real soon. Bye now.